All right, Reverend Colonel here. Uh, man, I've been like, like a long tailed cat in a rocking chair factory. I've been running, running, running. Got up early this morning, did my Bible routine, my prayer, my stretches, my exercise, all that kind of stuff. Getting ready for work and my baby girl calls and she's like freaking out. Her COVID brain was just going into high gear and she was all freaked out and worried and disoriented and stuff. And she wanted me to come down right then and so I came up here to where we just took her to the rehab instead of going to work and went and checked everything out and met with the doctors and all the crew that are doing the th physical therapy so that was kind of good and uh, so we got all that kind of stuff straightened out and everything got her settled got her calmed down and everything and uh so all was good so then i went to work didn't get to work till about noon and climbing on a scaffold and ladder and doing acrobatics and all that kind of stuff painting this house that i just put siding on and doing all that kind of stuff and uh she called a couple times while i was working and just checking and she just wanted to talk that's all and uh so anyway then uh I'm uh, getting ready to go home, and she's like, I need this, I need that, I need that. And, of course, I guess she just wants some of the comforts of home. So I gathered up a bunch of things that she needed. I uh, got her some blankets and her fan and all this kind of stuff that she wanted and, and uh, gathered all that up. And also, during the whole time that I'm doing work, I'm like trying to figure out where all her medications disappeared to because when the paramedics picked her up a few weeks ago they took all her medications so they knew what she was on and everything and they'd been at the hospital all this time and the hospital misplaced them they didn't send them to the rehab so I had to run those down figure all that out and then by the time I get you know done with work and get cleaned up get the pain off me and everything so I could be halfway presentable to come up here and had to run to the hospital pick up her meds bring her meds here so they can make sure that everything's right on all that and got here right when visiting hours were ending but they let me stay and had a good visit uh, it was a really good visit. Um, she's her mind is starting to unfog a little bit. Uh, there's still a lot of fogginess and a lot of things that she thinks has happened that hasn't happened and things like that. And you know, it's just it's, it's just uh, just mind-boggling how COVID has done all this to her. And, uh, but she did do some therapy today and she can actually, with help, get into a wheelchair, stand for a few seconds, uh, and get herself wheeled into the bathroom and stuff, but she gets quite winded. Uh, but I just got her asthma stuff to her today, so that should help her. But she did a bunch of physical therapy today. It looked like uh, she excelled in wheelchair. That was her best thing that she did. Everything else was, you know, about what you expect after being in a hospital bed for three weeks, you know. Got to get her muscles back working and stuff. So, but it looks like they got a good program going. She's doing good. Tomorrow's Saturday. I'm not going to work this weekend. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I've got a few things I need to do around the house, but I'm going to uh, kind of, you know, I, I'm going to take a little bit of time for myself because I'm just stressed in the max and, and uh, try to decompress a little bit maybe do a couple things in the garage that always helps me decompress but then I'm going to get up here much earlier spend more time with her and then Sunday I'm going to spend a lot more time with her but tomorrow I'm going to bring her an ice cream she wants me to bring her an ice cream from Sonic so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to bring her an ice cream they said it's okay for her to have that so that's what I'm going to do and uh, so Anyway, um, things are 
I think going to progress. Uh, it turns out she's had MRSA in her lungs and uh, nobody ever told me about that, but that's been going on since she was in the hospital. And uh, so that would be a big part of why she couldn't breathe good and stuff like that. But they said that's almost cleared up now. She's only got like one more dose of medicine or two more doses tomorrow. And she's done with that. And they said that's clearing up and doing good. So her breathing should be getting even better. And now that she has her asthma medications, she can treat her asthma. And that should help her to be able to do things and to get more oxygen to her brain. And uh, so uh, I'm... I'm being very optimistic that she's going to pull out of this and that we're going to get back to some normalcy here soon. So anyway, I just wanted to give a report on all that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling very optimistic about it and I'm looking forward to this weekend and having a little bit more time with her and uh, just take a chance to breathe a little bit uh, I feel like I haven't breathed in four weeks and uh, you know I mean I know she's the one going through it and all and and she's gone through hell and I can't even imagine what it's like uh, but it, it's been hard on the whole family and, uh, and you know I'm the point man I gotta make sure everything stays in line and make sure that everybody's safe and everything's going good and that kids are okay and the dogs and the household and the bills and work and and then make sure that my baby girl is being treated properly and being cared for and I think she's getting some really good care at this rehab I have high hopes so anyway I guess that's about it on that just keep her in your prayers you know she still has moments and uh, just keep praying for her and pray that this goes very well and uh, pray for me pray for the family and uh, you know stay in the word you know like I, I know I say this every time but you got to stay in the word that's how God speaks to you you know one of the main ways I mean, he speaks to us other ways too but you got to meditate on his word that's why he gave it to us and keep praying and uh, I guess that's about it this is the way Reverend Colonel signing out <laughs>